Yep, yep. So cool. where are we going to start? Okay, well, we'll start with some squats, but if anyone else was going to try and do these at home, obviously you'd want to maybe check with your doctor if you haven't done any exercise recently or talk to a personal trainer just to get your health checked out before you start. And if you had any yeah. discomfort during the exercise, you'd stop immediately anyway, any sore joints or chest pains and so forth. But we would start with the squats. Okay. Now you can do the squats with a child okay. um, or without. Um, if you've done no exercise for a long time, I'd do that obviously without. Okay, let's try um, it out, Jade. Are you going to join in? So obviously these are cool because these exercises are things that you can do with children. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, the and they're easily, you can easily um, make them more difficult as well. Okay. So, yep. Okay. So you're going to go down as far as is comfortable. Okay. I, go, I go down about parallel. Yeah. So my thighs are parallel with the ground. And just try and ensure your knees don't go out past your toes. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Cool. So if you haven't done these before, if you could do six to eight, maybe, and then rest for a minute, and then do two more sets. So this is really good for your core, for your glutes or your backside, and for your legs. Okay. So yep. can you explain to me what the difference is? Like, you're a fitness coach. So yeah, sort of a hybrid. I'm personal, qualified personal trainer, but like you said, uh, qualified life coach as well. Okay. So what does that mean? What does that mean? To so for personal training, <laughs> like well, both roles um, take a very consultative approach um, and, to, and let the client lead what they want to do. So a personal trainer can uh, set your health goal, help you set your health goals, come up with a program, make, make some uh, recommendations around nutrition. Uh, whereas a life coach can take a deeper, more holistic view and look at all your lifestyle, like your sleep and rest and stress management. Uh, but also delve into, if you want to, delve into your motivations and patterns and those sorts of things. Wow. So uh, it's quite a holistic view and I think they complement each other really well actually. Okay, awesome. What's our next exercise? Uh, the lunge, which okay. is also, again, also good for your lower body, for your core, for your butt. Mm -hmm. And so ideally, you're going to be able to get your torso to go straight up and down. Okay. And you're getting your knees both at 90 degrees. Yep. And so you do each you side. With me, Eden? Yeah. Do each side about eight times and then swap over. Okay. It's got an interesting balance with the child. Yeah, I'm going to move over a little bit and try again. That's it. So good. You've got 90 degree knees. And the, you, you don't want the back knee to touch the ground. Okay. Just above. But this is like a step up from your squat because your whole body weight is coming off that front leg. Yeah, so you're I driving up to the front leg. Whereas with a squat, both legs are doing the work. And how many of these would I do? So I think you'd do eight each leg and then okay. swap over. Okay, so stick to the yep. one leg. So I obviously see a lot of mums as a coach as well. Yep. Um, and coaching is all about finding solutions to things. Yep. Um, and we obviously set certain actions between coaching sessions. One of the common themes with mums for me is time. So an obstacle to them meeting their goals without the coaching is time. Yep. Is that similar for you that you see? With oh, people? absolutely. Everyone is, there's two main things. is that Everyone's time poor, but also when it comes to health and fitness, uh, there's a whole lot of confusion. Okay. So yeah, everyone is short of time and they think they must spend an hour every day of the week or something, which is not realistic with the time pressures on them. And it's not necessary, especially if someone has been doing no exercise, getting out for a five minute walk and maybe in two days time trying to make it a six minute walk and building on it is the answer. Small incremental improvements. Okay. Any activity is better than none. Um, and then that confusion. Yes. It's about doing the basics because there is so much conflicting information out there about what you should and shouldn't do and eat and so forth. Plus, that information changes over time. Yeah. So it's about doing the basics, moving, getting out, walking, um, doing a few simple body weight exercises like this, and just making minor tweaks to your what you're eating, yeah. going to real food, um, with small incremental steps. Things that are sustainable. Yeah. It's got to be sustainable. And, and that's the goal, I think, for a life coach and a personal trainer, is to find the formula that works for each individual. Because everyone's different in preferences, what they like to eat. What they like to how they like to move. Yeah. I don't like to call it exercise because it could be dancing and that could be your cardio. Yeah, absolutely. So it's about finding that formula for everyone, both time and again it comes back to the basics. And it all counts. Absolutely. 
So we've done six to eight squats. Yep. We've done six to eight lunges yep. on each leg. Each leg, and you maybe do those three times each. Okay. Yep. After each other, so have a yeah, have a minute, a minute, minute and a half, or even two minutes. Yeah. Um, whatever you feel comfortable. Again, if you're short of breath, take longer, or actually even stop. If, okay. Because any obviously any discomfort. Okay. okay, and then push ups. These are what I'm trying to do is compound exercises that use multiple muscles, mm -hmm. and so push ups is another good one. Okay. Um, Maybe you start on the knees, because yep. that's, uh, that's an easier one, but people can do push-ups against walls, against tables, just to take, reduce some of the load. So, so arms so under shoulders. That's right, yep, a nice... Butt up or butt down? Keep, try and keep your back in a straight line, all the way from your knees to your shoulders. Okay, and then just and down. And down. And up, oh, nice. Try and breathe out on the way up. That's great. And then, I know you can do the full push-up. If you want to do some of those again as well, again straight, very nice. Yeah, the push-up is a great exercise for the back of your arms, for your chest, for your shoulders, but also does work your core. Fantastic. But again, it's something you can start doing against walls, or you can do against the table, as long as the table's not going to move. It's another all good, all over body exercise. Okay. So six to eight, which is failure. Um, if you've not done a lot of exercise, and you can do six to eight, that's awesome going. And I'd maybe just add one or two each week if okay. you're able to do that. If you're someone who's done a lot of exercise like yourself, you could go to failure, but you wouldn't do them again for like two or three days at least. So you've got no muscle soreness. Okay. You'd soon start climbing up. Yeah. Um, and the count of push-ups. Yeah. Sure. But you'll find also as your arms and shoulders get stronger that your core will as well. Okay. Great, okay. And then the other exercise was the plank. Okay. Cool, okay. And now we're going to do what's called a prone bridge. Okay. Which again is good for your core and for your butt. Like this, yeah. Great. And so you're going to use your glutes or your bottom muscles if you like to drive your hips up, leave your hands by your sides. Drive them up as hard as you can. Hold for a couple of seconds. Yeah. And then down. And again, hold for a couple of seconds. Yeah. And then down. Again, um, six to eight reps would be good. First time out, maybe wait a minute, do them again. Yeah. And then a third set as well. Uh, again, for someone who's done exercise like yourself, you could probably do uh, 20. Okay. And just keep adding from there. Okay. So it's what works for people. If they yeah. feel they're getting a workout, then that's enough to stop and then add on the following week. How regularly should we be doing this, this workout? Um, if you're able to do this, and it, it might only take 15 minutes, if you did it every, I would say, third or fourth day, depending yeah. on how you feel, you should not do it again if you've got any, any muscle soreness, because okay. obviously the muscles are still recovering, and that's when they grow and adapt to what the lifestyle you're giving them, this yeah. new lifestyle. Yeah. So you want to wait till they're fully recovered before you do it. Cool. So this workout, Sherman, what are we working on? Uh, well, we're trying to hit all the muscles. They're, they're compound exercises, mm -hmm. which means they hit more than one muscle group at the same time. Yep. So we're certainly giving your lower body, your, um, your thighs, your hammies, your butt, wow. your core, yeah, you but with the push-ups and uh, the plank as well, very much more the core, the back of the arms, yep. shoulders, chest. Okay. So That's it's cool. quite an all-over workout. Yeah. So yep. it's an all-over workout that we as mums can quite realistically fit in. And you don't need any equipment and you can do it wherever you are. But there are ways to make them those exercises harder as well. Okay. So what's the final exercise? Uh, we're going to do the good old plank. Wow. Or, um, okay. Prone hold as some people call it. And the idea is to have a pivot at your hip so that from your hips to your shoulders is flat with the floor. So there'll be an angle at your hips down to your feet. And that looks pretty good. So maybe raise your hips just a tad. Perfect. Okay, and for people who've never done this before, if they could do five or up to ten seconds maybe and then rest for a minute, and the goal would be to add a few seconds each week when you do it. But for someone like yourself, Claire, you could probably do a minute, no worries. Okay. And have, have a conversation with me as well. So, um, what would people get out of coming to see you for their fitness goals? Um, so, as a combined sort of personal trainer and life coach, I take a very holistic approach and it's all about helping the client find the formula that works for them in terms of getting progress and finding a lifestyle that sort of fits. So we look at their goals, their preferences in terms of food, in terms of movement, not necessarily exercise as people know it, but if they like to go dancing, 
then they go dancing and it's their cardio. So it's helping them find the formula that works for them. But it, it, it's a holistic approach, so we look at stress management and sleep, all those sorts of things. That's a great plank. Great planking. Thank you. <laughs> so have you got an offer for us today? Um, I'm always open to doing uh, consultations with clients, mm -hmm. with potential clients oh. by arrangement. Yep. Uh, no obligation. Uh, um, obviously, it's got a, a mutual time and location that works. Um, and with that, we um, we fill out a questionnaire. And we go through people's uh, health factors, um, any any health risks they've got, come up with some goals, and maybe just a high level plan of what might work. Um, but we look at we can look at range of motion. We can check your blood pressure, all those sorts of things. So if I get your contact details and put them in my newsletter or email, are you happy with that? Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Thank you so much for coming today. You're welcome. Thank okay. you. Thank you.